You actually never think it can hit your community until it's right over on top of you. So we're, we're very thankful and very blessed. I'm just glad nobody lost lives here in Ideas. It was my baby brother. He called me yesterday morning about 7 o'clock and said the tornado was right over them, that he needed a way out. And by the time we got to him, it doesn't hit. So just thankful he gave out alive. No power, so. Yeah. This is damaged. You can see the organs. He hunkered down in the bathroom. When he called us, he was crying, and when he heard the sirens, he said what woke him up was the hail hitting the air conditioner. It actually blew the air conditioner back in. We put it back in. He said he stepped out, and when he opened the door, the wind hit. So he shut the door, and he ran to the rush, I went to the bathroom and got in the tub, and he was crying, and he was like, I'm gone. I just wanted to let y'all know. Y'all be the ones to hear my last words that I love y'all. He said it sounded like a freight train coming through. He said at first they heard a big boom, like the way he described it, an atomic bomb went off. My husband, my sister, and me actually got pulled off way down there and walked almost about two miles to get here. We were walking on live power lines at the time. Didn't know they were live. To get here, it was devastating. They said there's already Lugers out here. He got out alive. So I'm just thankful that nothing else happened. I pray for the community that they can get over it and restore it. <laughs>